What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new psychological thriller that has everyone talking right now. And that is Split. Written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan starring James McAvoy, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Betty Buckley. Split is about a man named Kevin portrayed by James McAvoy and he has 23 different personalities in his head. One of his personalities named Dennis kidnaps these three girls, one of them played by Anya Taylor-Joy, and he traps those girls in his very claustrophobic house. And the girls have to try to figure out a way to try to leave. It's also about Kevin constantly going to his psychologist, played by Betty Buckley, and she's trying to figure out what is going on with Kevin's life and try to communicate with his 23 different personalities and try to cure him and this movie is just a crazy intense M. Night Shyamalan thriller. This is a movie I've been looking forward to before the start of 2017. I've been hearing so many great things about Split and that it's directed by M. Night Shyamalan and maybe he's gonna have a comeback. We all know what M. Night Shyamalan is like guys. He's either the most hated director in Hollywood or we can like him for what he's done. Let's look at some of his great ones. Or his piles of shit. After seeing Split, guys, M. Night Shyamalan is back once again. This is his best film he's directed since Signs. I had a fun time watching this movie. And let's go straight into the positive. The performances in this movie I thought were very good, especially from the three main stars, of course, James McAvoy. Oh my goodness. This is James McAvoy's best performance to date. James McAvoy is one crazy, sick mofo in this movie, and he does a fantastic job of playing this guy with 23 personalities, and I just love the way he betrayed each personality and I really didn't think he could pull off this role especially as Professor X coming from the X-Men series and James McAvoy surprised me and this is a performance I'm gonna remember for a long time. Anya Taylor-Joy once again was fantastic in this movie. She is three for three in horror movies. You got The Witch and Morgan and now this I really like her character in this movie, and she's the smartest one of these three girls. The other two girls I didn't give a shit about. She was really good, and she's just a fantastic actress. I also really like Betty Buckley as the psychologist. She was very good, too, and I didn't think she was a boring character at all, and M. Night Shyamalan has had a history of casting older people in his movies, and Betty Buckley might be the best out of all of them. Her character is very complex and she's very likable and she even added some good humor. The thing that surprised me the most about Split, I said earlier, is the use of the personalities. I thought they were very fleshed out. My favorite was definitely Hedwig, the nine-year-old boy. It was the funniest out of all the personalities and each one is either really funny or just straight up serious. There are some moments in this movie where James McAvoy goes all in on these personalities. No spoilers, of course. The cinematography in this movie is so damn good. And it's by the guy who did the cinematography for It Follows last year. And I could see it. And I could totally see M. Night Shyamalan took inspiration from last year's 10 Cloverfield Lane. Because the scenes in the house where this claustrophobic atmosphere, you really do feel it. You just want to get out of the situation. And that's exactly what these three girls feel like in the situation. The score in this movie was very creepy and intense. It's by a man named Wes Dylan Thordson. This guy made a fantastic score. It was creepy, suspenseful, especially near the third act. I really felt this score and how great it was. And I gotta commend M. Night Shyamalan for his direction in the movie. I can easily tell he put a lot of work into this movie. He had a lot of passion for making this. And it's well layered throughout the whole entire movie. Great job, M. Night Shyamalan. 
However, guys, I do have to say Split is not a perfect movie. I didn't think it was that great. I do have some flaws with the movie. And so let's talk about them. The first gripe I had was that I wish they would have shown all 23 of the personalities. Like the three ones we get to see are Dennis, Patricia, and Hedwig, the nine-year-old boy. Like they're repeated more times than the other ones. And throughout the movie, they show the other ones, but they're just shoehorned in. And if not all 23, maybe you could have added in like five more, make it more layered for James McAvoy's character, see what he's like, give him more character development. That's the main gripe I have. And the other one is that the first act in this movie is really sloppy when it comes to the dialogue and the acting, especially from the two other girls, Haley Richardson and the other one, I don't know the name of her, but I felt like they're just not that good compared to Anya Taylor-Joy. The pacing was off, like I wanted to get more into the house scenes and the second and third act are the best parts of the film, but the first act was wooden. And those are the only gripes I really had. In the end, guys, Split is a really good, solid return for M. Night Shyamalan. This is great. I love all the performances, the tension, the ending. It all paid off. M. Night Shyamalan is definitely back. Go see Split, guys. It is good. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Split a 4 out of 5 stars for the first act being really sloppy and I wish all the personalities were explained. All in all, this is a great M. Night Shyamalan movie. Now you guys are probably thinking, why am I dressed up for this review? Well, I just pulled an M. Night Shyamalan plot twist on you because I'm dressed as James McAvoy's character from the film. And for the thumbnail, I just wanted to play a joke on you guys. Let me know what you think of it down below. All right, guys, that was my review for Split. Have you guys seen this movie yet? Are you going to go see it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. My third Q&A video is coming out in February. If you didn't submit me a question from the previous Q&As and you want to, now's your time to ask. It doesn't have to be just movie questions. It could be about anything you want to know about me. Post them down below in the comments. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.